In the previous video, we've seen that when a particle is traveling around in circles, the parametric equations will be given by, by this, and, uh, and the speed will be given by this. So when you, have, when you have A here and A here, the speed will be A, because, uh, because the period here would be, uh, would be 2 pi. So, uh, so, so, so 2 pi here would be the time it takes for the particle to do one, one revolution. Um, but if, if you want to change the speed, what you do is you stick a, a constant in front of, uh, in front of the t. So you can stick k in there. Or, or, or let, let's say, let, let's stick a 3 in there. So you, you, you would stick a 3 in, in front of the t here as well. So if you look at this here, normally the period would be 2 pi. Normally it would be 2 pi. Normally the time it takes to do one revolution would be, would be 2 pi. But if you stick a 3 in front of here, then the period would be would be much faster. One, two, three revolutions. So, uh, so if you stick a three in in, uh, in front of the t, then uh, then the time to do one revolution would be would be much faster than than uh, than the than without the constant. So, if, if you want to change the speed, stick a, a constant in front of here and here. Okay. So, so if if you want to change the speed. Then, uh, then adjust the, adjust your parametric equations to uh, to be uh, to be something like this. Okay, so so uh, applying the uh, applying the speed here. If, if if you want to if you want to find the speed, then uh, then 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 use this formula. So uh, so differentiate this to obtain your dx by t, dt, and then differentiate this to obtain your dy by dt. So so if, if you want to if you want to change the speed of the particle, then might, then then adjust your parametric equations to uh, to something looking like this. So if you do that, then uh, then then dx by dt will be given by this, and dy by dt will be given by this. So now we can put this into here, and then we can put this into here. That will then give you this. That would then give you uh, that would then give you this. Now, when you when you square this whole thing here, the minus disappears, giving you this, and uh, and then factorize 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 uh, a squared k squared. So factorize it, factorize it out. It will then give you this, and then it's blah blah. The speed will be given by a k. So if if you want to slow it down, hang on, hang on. Let's um, let's go back to here. So, uh, so if you want to speed it up, then you, you would put a, a positive number in here, let's say 3, because, because, uh, normally one period would be 2 pi. If you, if you stick a constant in front of here, it would be, uh, it would be much faster. It, the, the time to do one revolution would be, would be much faster. But if you want to slow it down, then put a number in here that's less than, um, less than, less than 1. So maybe, maybe put a third in there. Then, uh, then normally, one period would be two pi, but if you put let's say a third in there, it would be a lot longer. You know? It would be a lot longer. So so one period would be would be something like this. It, it, it would be slower. So if you want to slow it down, then then put a number that's less than less than one. Okay.